Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 352. Anemias. What is anemia? Anemia is a decrease in the number of red blood cells or less than normal quantity of hemoglobin in the blood. And because of these reasons, there is a decrease in the delivery of oxygen to their tissue. So therefore, these patients will be fatigued and weak. What can you look at to classify different types of anemias? When you want to classify different types of anemias, first you would need to look at the mean corpuscular volume, and this can allow you to determine the size of the red blood cells. What is mean corpuscular volume? Mean corpuscular volume, or MCV, is a measure of the average red blood cell volume that is reported as part of a standard complete blood count. What is microcytic anemia? Microcytic anemia is a generic term for any type of anemias characterized by small red blood cell. For microcytic anemia, the MCV is less than 80. What is normocytic anemia? Normocytic anemia is defined as anemia with mean corpuscular volume or MCV of 80 to 100, which is actually in the normal range. But the problem in normocytic anemia is that the hematocrit and hemoglobin is decreased. And this is a common problem seen in people over the age of 85. What is macrocytic anemia? Macrocytic anemia is a type of anemia in which the average size of erythrocytes is larger than normal. And in macrocytic anemia, the MCV is generally greater than 100. Name all the causes of microcytic anemia. Microcytic anemia can be caused due to iron deficiency. Anemia of chronic disease is also microcytic, but remember, anemia of chronic disease may first present as normocytic anemia and then progress into microcytic anemia. Also, thalassemias and lead poisoning can lead to microcytic anemia, and cytoblastic anemia is a type of microcytic anemia. One additional thing to remember about microcytic anemia is that the erythrocytes are also hypochromic in this condition. Hypochromic just means that the red blood cells are going to be lacking in color, and the reason for this is due to that decrease in the hemoglobin. Name all the non-hemolytic normocytic anemias. The non-hemolytic normocytic anemia includes anemia of chronic disease, aplastic anemias, and anemia caused by chronic kidney disease. What is the difference between intrinsic and extrinsic hemolytic anemia? In intrinsic hemolytic anemia, the cause of anemia is related to the red blood cells itself. Whereas in extrinsic anemia, the factors causing anemia is external to the red blood cells. So in intrinsic anemia, the problem can be with RCB's protein or oxidative stress handling. Whereas for extrinsic anemia, the problems could be with immune attacks and microvascular angiopathies. Name all the causes of intrinsic hemolytic anemia. The causes of intrinsic hemolytic anemia includes hereditary spherocytosis, in which there is a defect of the red blood cell membrane. Other causes of intrinsic hemolytic anemia include G6PD deficiency, as well as pyruvate kinase deficiency. So these are the red blood cell enzymes that are deficient, therefore leading to that hemolytic anemia. Also, hemoglobin C disease can lead to that intrinsic hemolytic anemia. Sickle cell anemia is a type of intrinsic hemolytic anemia. And lastly, paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria can also lead to hemolytic anemia. Name all the causes of extrinsic hemolytic anemia. The causes of extrinsic hemolytic anemias include autoimmune conditions, microangiopathies, macroangiopathies, and infections can all lead to that extrinsic hemolytic anemia. So non-hemolytic and hemolytic subdivisions are both part of normocytic anemias. Now, so far we have talked about microcytic and normocytic anemia. Now let's move on to macrocytic anemias. Macrocytic anemias are further divided into megaloblastic and non-megaloblastic anemias. What is megaloblastic anemia? Megaloblastic anemia is a type of anemia that results from the inhibition of DNA synthesis during red blood cell production. And therefore, this can lead to formation of megaloblasts. So basically, all the anemias that lead to formation of megaloblasts are due to DNA replication disorder. Name the three causes of megaloblastic anemia. The three causes of megaloblastic anemia include folate deficiency, vitamin B12 deficiency, and erratic aciduria. What is non-megaloblastic macrocytic anemia? Non-megaloblastic macrocytic anemia is a type of anemia that occurs due to increased red cell surface area, which happens in pathologies of the liver and spleen. Name all the causes of non-megaloblastic macrocytic anemia. 
The causes of non-megaloblastic macrocytic anemia is due to liver disease, alcoholism, and reticulocytosis. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.